This is Jared Horak for today's RacingDigest.com. We're coming to you live from Pimlico Racecourse. It's Preakness Week 2017, and we're going to do a, a, a preview of the Preakness Stakes uh, in this video. Well, let's start with Always Dreaming. Uh, he was my top choice in the Florida Derby. He was my top choice in the Kentucky Derby. He earned uh, that nice 102 fire rating, 148 CPR in the Florida Derby, and he looked like he was the one to beat in the Kentucky Derby. He set that good trip, and he's always sitting that good early pressing trip makes his own trip and, and he usually runs a good race. Now we saw him on the track this morning. Uh, we got here first thing this morning. He went out onto the track. He seemed very calm and then he came back off of the track and he got a bath and he just seemed calm. His demeanor was good overall and I'm expecting him to run a, another big race um, uh, for sure uh, in, in the Preak mistakes. Uh, looking at Lee is going to be one that's coming into Pimlico. Uh, especially I think he's coming in later today uh, and, and he ran a decent race uh, in the Arkansas Derby. Uh, coming in from off the pace. And then in the Kentucky Derby, he saved all the ground and he was able to finish a good second. Now, I don't know if he's going to be able to sit that same kind of trip in Baltimore and a little bit of a shorter distance, uh, and he won't be 30 to 3 to 1 this time. A classic empire certainly uh, could give Always Dreaming a, a run for his money. Uh, he was your two year old champion and he, he came back finally in, on form. He, he, he had some trouble earlier this year getting to the track, getting to the races, uh, getting some workouts in. And, and in the Arkansas Derby, he earned a 94 fire rating and a 140 uh, CPR. That was a good effort. Uh, that was his best effort since the Breeders' Cup Juvenile where he, where he had a 100 fire rating and then the same 140 CPR. Uh, so Classic Empire had a lot of trouble in the Kentucky Derby. He was bumped early. He was back further than he normally is. And then he was able to end up finishing fourth. He, run, he, finished wide, he was running wide in the stretch. I think he can certainly run a better race. We saw him on the track as well uh, this morning and, and, uh, and he looked good as well. Uh, Gunavera is going to be on the track later this morning. Uh, he, he has to probably run back to his Fountain of Youth. When he won that one and he earned a 100 fire rating and a 156 CPR. If he can run that kind of race, he's certainly going to be a big threat. But in the Florida Derby, he ended up finishing uh, third from an outer post. And in the Kentucky Derby, he ended up finishing seventh. But he's going to have to get back to that Fountain of Youth form. And maybe the longer distances are doing him in because that Fountain of Youth was a mile and a 16th. Uh, but uh, he's capable if he gets enough pace help to rally from off the pace. Now, Hentz is one that, another one that ran in the Kentucky Derby. Uh, he won the Sunland Derby earlier this year, getting a 90 fire rating and a 145 CPR. In the Kentucky Derby, he was in the threat, finishing 11th, uh, but he's won. Uh, if he can run back to that Sunland Derby, he could at least hit the board. Now, your new shooters, Conquest Mo Money, looks like one that's going to be up on the pace, maybe the main pace rival for Always Dreaming. So the pace scenario looks like Always Dreaming and Conquest Mo Money look like your main early pressing horses. Uh, Classic Empire is going to be your stalker, and then a lot of the other horses will come uh, from further off the pace. But Conquest Mo Money, he has the ability to run with these, but, but I think Always Dreaming is a better speed horse. Uh, Cloud Computing, very lightly raced, only three lifetime starts with only one win, a couple stakes placings. He just might be in his, over his head from a seasoning standpoint. Multiplier won the Illinois Derby, and he's improving a lot right now, uh, but he's going to have to step up his game again to compete with horses like Always Dreaming and Classic Empire. Senior Investment, he won the Lexington Stakes, and he earned good numbers. 102 fire, 141 CPR, and he's a big late runner. And another big late runner is Term of Art, coming in from Southern California. But he's a, a great three winner. Uh, he, he seems a bit up against it from class and then from pace as well. He's going to be coming from well off the pace. So right now, they haven't drawn the post positions yet. It's early Preakness week, but right now, Always Dreaming certainly looks like the one to, to beat. Classic Empire is his main rival, and then Gunavera uh, from the, the Preakness uh, from the Derby should run better as well. And of all the new shooters, maybe Multiplier could sneak into the exotics. And that'll wrap up this video. We'll be back uh, next time uh, with another uh, Preakness preview for today's racing.